I've been moving toward this place for since uh, the early 70s probably. About 1975 I went to I went out west for the first time and I grew up in the Midwest and and the western landscape knocked me out from the very beginning and when I came back in in my studio classes I tried to express some of those things and I just couldn't do it because I didn't have the experience and gradually over time I've, I've gotten to that point where I can really show my emotional response to that western landscape. The work I do is a combination or a, a synthesis of the color of Impressionism and Post-Impressionism and the brushwork of the Abstract Expressionists. So it, it's, it's a combination of those things, the artists that I love, and it just feels natural for me to work in the way that I do now. Um, Seasley said that we, we paint the places we're in love with, and the Montana landscape, the Western landscape, are, uh, is something that draws me emotionally, and it shows, it comes out in the work. Henri Matisse was asked if he believed in God, and he said, when I'm working. So when I go out in, in the landscape, when, I, when I'm out there hiking, it's just me or it's, or it's uh, me and somebody I care about. We're out hiking, and, and I, I always take a camera with me because I can't pause long enough to stand in the landscape and do the drawing, do the painting. So what I, my method is I go, I take the photos, I sometimes do really brief sketches and then I come back to the studio and start to put those things down and, and I have to go back because that landscape emotionally charges me to the point where, where I can come back into the studio and then it comes out, it comes back, it, 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 it flows out. The method that I usually use is I come in, I try and block in the color as best I can and then when I allow the paint to dry a little bit, I can come back and, uh, and go in and, and, and rework the colors, add some complexity of color. Um, but very often, it's the first emotion that comes out is usually the best. You know, I'm not trying to show the landscape that I was in. I'm trying to help the viewer feel how the landscape was that I was in. So I have to balance the description with the expression. And, and that's, that's the hard part, is, is coming up the, with the right balance. If it's too descriptive, I'm not happy. If it's too expressive, it, it lacks the, the structure that I want. So it's that, it's that constant dichotomy of, of description and expression that, that I try and work through with the paintings. And, it seems like lately it's, it's become more expressive. An example is in a current painting or, or a recent painting, I was painting a Chinese garden with reflection on the water and there were some koi in the water. And, and I wanted to show them and I mixed the color with the biggest possible brush and I went in and with four brush marks I showed the four fish and, and it was like kind of a breakthrough for me because I, it felt like that's what I always want to do. One of the things that I always felt and I learned it a long time ago is that all light has a color and the shadow is the complement of the light. So in, in, in doing that and working on that, it helps me to use the pigments and transform the pigments into an expression of that, of that scene, of that place. And it seems like people respond to it, particularly people that have either seen that landscape, been in that landscape, or have, um, or wanna be in that landscape. They can look at the paintings and, and have that feeling, the same kind of emotion that I had. Mm -hmm.